So if you're fully ready for the math that you're going to see on the T's exam, well, you should be able to easily answer this question without using a calculator. So let's take a look at the problem. We have 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. All right, now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to go through the complete solution in just one second. Also, if you need help preparing for the math section on the T's exam, you definitely got to check out my T's math test prep course. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. It will really help you out. All right, so let's take a look at the full solution right now. So here is our problem, and we have 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. Before we uh, answer that question, let's just take a look at some easy examples when, it, when we're talking about dealing uh, with subtracting numbers. So here I have 1 minus 3. Okay, it's the same number. Okay, more or less. It's 1 and 3. But here we have 1 minus 3. This is 3 minus 1, and then negative 1 minus 3. Okay, so let's kind of take a look at each one of these examples. Now, if you want to just go ahead and kind of think about what the answers are going to be, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine. Use this as a little mini pop quiz. But I'm going to start with this problem right here, 3 minus 1. Okay, this is something that you probably learned in the first grade. Of course, uh, let me just see if my best attempt at drawing a hand. <laughs> that's a terrible attempt. Let me see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? That's where the uh, term digit comes. We have these digits, and you're counting on your fingers right here. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 3. We have uh, 3 fingers, and then we kind of just use a different color. So 1, 2, 3. Uh, there's three fingers, of course, you would hold them up, and then we take away one of those fingers temporarily. This one goes down, and we're left with two, right? So, you know, real basic counting concepts. Three take away one, or three minus one is, of course, a positive two. All right, so hopefully everyone understands that. But this problem right here, this one minus three, looks similar. However, it is quite different. So 1 minus 3, well, we have 1, okay, kind of go back to our finger problem, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I have 1, but I'm going to take away 3. Well, that, you know, doesn't really kind of make a lot of sense, you know, at least when you're uh, having your fingers um, kind of up there. So this is different, okay? This is what we're um, kind of talking about in this video. We're talking about positive and negative numbers, right? Now, a great way to think about positive and negative numbers in terms of adding and subtracting is to think about money. Now, you might be saying, where is this guy going? Well, here's a, a good way to think about it. Positive numbers, you want to think the, basically that you have some money, and negative numbers is that you owe, right? You have some debt, right? Okay, so here's kind of one way you can uh, use this model. So here we have 1 minus 3. Well, this 1 is actually a positive 1. So think of it as you have $1, okay? And then this negative 3, what we want to think about is this, or what we want to do is the following. This is a minus 3. So in math, what we can do is change this minus sign to a plus negative, right? And this is a big part of the, what I want to kind of get across in this video. So when you see a subtraction signs like 1 minus 3, I want you to turn this into a plus sign and then take that negative sign and assign it to this number to the right of, the, of this new addition symbol. So right here, 3 minus 1 is what? 3 plus a negative 1, which of course is the same as 3 minus 1. Now let's take a look at this problem again. We know the answer is 2. So this is like saying this is a positive 3, right? So this means that, hey, you have like $3 in your pocket, and then your friend comes up and says, hey, uh, you remember that dollar I, I um, you know, that you borrowed from me, you know, last week I want it back. So you have to give that person one dollar, right? And that leaves you with how much? Two dollars, a positive two dollars, which of course that means you still have money. So let's take a look at this example now, okay, by doing this plus negative. And that's kind of how you want to think about it, plus negative. So one minus three, so this is going to be one plus a negative three. Okay, so what's our financial uh, kind of situation here? Well, you have one dollar, but then you owe your friend that $3 that you borrowed, you know, last week. Okay, so you give them, 
that one dollar that you have so how much debt do you still owe negative two all right so positive one or one plus a negative three is negative two now I'm kind of going over uh, this quickly all right I mean you know, I'm tempted to get into it <laughs> because I know some people still might be a little bit confused but what I've found over the years or decades of teaching is that using money as an example to teach how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers is an excellent kind of uh, way. And, and of course, it's real life, too, because when people say, hey, when am I going to use this? Well, if you look at income statements or you know, balance sheets or whatnot, there's all sorts of positive and negative numbers out there. OK, so let's go ahead and take a look at this last example. We have negative one minus three. So now that we know to do this little plus negative, so negative one minus three is what negative one minus. We're going to turn this into plus negative. So here we have we owe someone one dollar and we know we owe another person. Uh, let's say, for example, three dollars or total debt is four. So negative one minus three is the same thing as negative one plus a negative three, which, of course, is negative four. Now, if you understand these uh, three examples, uh, these three different scenarios, then you should be able to do this problem pretty easily. So what I'm going to suggest to you is that you just get used to working with this plus and negative. So we're going to change all these uh, subtraction signs into plus and negative. So let's go to rewrite the problem. So we have 5 minus 1. So we'll, we'll write this as 5 plus negative 1. And then we have 1 minus 2. So we'll have this as 1 plus negative 2. And then we have 2 minus 3 or 2 plus negative 3. So when we look at this, what do we have? Well, we have, you know, uh, clearly we have these negative values and one positive value. So when you see a number, and if it doesn't have a negative sign in front of it, it is a positive number. Okay, so now we can kind of pull this all together. So how much, how many negative uh, dollars do we have or how much, you know, debt do we owe? Well, we have one, two, and three. This is six, so we have six dollars in debt but we have $5 in our pocket. So that means that when we pay our friend this $5, we just still owe them $1. So five plus negative six is negative one. So I hope this video helped you out, but remember there is a lot of math that you need to know to be fully ready for the T's exam. So make sure to check out my full T's math test prep course. It is very uh, comprehensive and easy to follow. So you can find a link to that in the description of this video. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your nursing adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.